An inverted U2 manometer is used to measure the pressure difference between two pipes A and B as shown in the figure. Pipe A is carrying oil of specific gravity 0.8 and pipe B is carrying water. The density of air and water are 1.16 kg per meter cube and 1000 kg per meter cube respectively. The pressure difference between pipe A and pipe B is so we need to find the pressure difference between pipe A and pipe B in kilopascal and we have to assume that acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square. Let's say the pressure in this pipe A is PA and in pipe B is PB. Since pipe A contains oil, let the height of oil in the YouTube manometer be HO that's 200 millimeter given in this problem and let this height at 80 mm be HA and the rise of water in the column be HW so HW will be 200 plus 100 that is 300 millimeter and we know total pressure total pressure in left limb should be equal to total pressure in the right limb okay now this condition must remain valid for the equilibrium condition so for let's write here for equilibrium Now writing pressure in the left limb, we can write PA pressure in this pipe A containing oil plus the hydrostatic pressure due to the rise of this oil in this left limb. So this will be negative rho naught G H naught here O stands for oil okay and it is negative because the oil is rising upward minus rho of air into G into H of air that is 80 so air is rising this much this yellow has part this is air okay this is the extra air in the left limb as compared to that of the right limb and this will be equal to now we'll write the pressure in the right limb so PB pressure in pi B which contains water minus the hydrostatic pressure because of this rise of this water in the right limb this will be rho w g into h w now we need to calculate p a minus p b and all the values in the problem are given so let's do that p a minus p b will be equal to rho naught g h naught plus rho a g into h a minus rho w into g to h w now all these values are given here so let's write here now in the problem the density of oil is not given but the specific gravity of oil is given so let's write specific gravity of oil is equal to density of oil divided by density of water because reference fluid we are taking water so that's how we write specific gravity of oil here so this will be so density of oil will be equal to specific gravity of oil multiplied by density of water so specific gravity of oil given in the problem is 0.8 into 1000 the density of water multiplied by g that is 10 multiplied by h naught now in the problem h naught is 200 mm that is 0.2 meter plus the density of air which is 1.16 multiplied by 10 multiplied by the rise of air HA that is 80 mm which is 0 0.08 meter minus 1000 into 10 multiplied by rise of water in limb B that is HW which is 380 mm so here I am wrong here it is 380 millimeter so this will be 380 divided by 1000 or 0.38 and this value will be equal to 
माइनस टू वन नाइन नाइन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन टू पैस करो ओके सो दिस इज पी ए माइनस पी बी ना वी नीड टू फाइंड ओनली द मैग्नीट्यूड ओके सो पी ए माइनस पी बी विल बी इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट वन नाइन नाइन किलो पैसकल और वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट दिस हैज टू पॉइंट टू किलो पैसकल एंड इसको बैक टू द प्रॉब्लम द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ प्रेशर डिफरेंस बिटवीन पाइप ए एंड पाइप बी इज टू पॉइंट टू किलो पैसकल फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन रेफर टू द एन पी टी एल कोर्स लेक्चर सिक्स फ्लूड स्टैटिक्स पार्ट थ्री on fluid mechanics by professor s k som of the department of mechanical engineering at iit kharagpur